friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Holly with Anessa Valley Farmhouse and today I'm doing things a little different. I'm going to do a little fall vlog. So we're going to talk about the main things are going to be my final harvest. So we're in about mid-October and I've actually taken me a little bit of, a little bit more time to kind of finish out our harvest. We've had a pretty good, um, whatchamacallit, Indian, we call them Indian summers where it's like warmer in September, October. And I'm kind of excited because we're going to the pumpkin patch this weekend. And so the weather's going to be really good. Of course, today it's raining, but by the end of the week, it's supposed to be like 70s and sunny. And I'm so excited. So today's actually Friday. And so I got the kiddos are off. The older kiddos are off at school. And so my goal today is to catch up on a little bit of housework. Um, I've been, we've just been so busy. We ended up going, um, crabbing last weekend. It was kind of a, not really, well, yeah, it was kind of a last minute thing and long story short. So I've just been out of my routine. And so I've been spending this week kind of getting caught up on things. And then we're just starting our fall festivities. Like I said, we have birthday, two birthdays this month two, and then we do the pumpkin patch. And we're getting ready for um, just kind of all the fall and holiday stuff because it creeps up before you know it. So my goals today are to get like this whole area reset, my kind of main living area. It's kind of a little messy. We had, we've just had really busy weeks and um, just a lot's been going on. So, and also I'm in the throes of potty training and just, you know, it's, it's been a lot like this month turned out to be, I guess, September and this month turned out to be a little bit more crazy than I was expecting. And so I think like, I just kind of got a little bit overwhelmed. And for me, what I need to do whenever I'm feeling completely overwhelmed and can't just stay on top of things is I just go down to the absolute basics. So I haven't been doing as much deep cleaning as I've been wanting to. And, but that's okay because that's just a season that I'm in right now. Cause basically once cheer season ends the end of this month and we have all our birthdays and then it'll be kind of hunting season and I kind of feel like I can kind of take a little breather kind of between that Halloween and Thanksgiving time because uh, my husband will be out of town and so it's just going to be the basics and we're kind of um, also my parents um, will actually be back during that time so which will be nice because they'll be here and they'll be able to hang out with us as we just kind of do our stuff and we're getting ready for we have a really fun Friendsgiving coming up I'm so excited yes I already planned out pretty much the end of the year because when you got a lot of kids and just a lot going on and your kids are doing things like extracurriculars or doing things just involved in church stuff I feel like I have to plan things like three to four five six months out so <laughs> We've already kind of got things planned out for the end of the year, which is really exciting. And so I might talk about some of that. We'll kind of see. But right now I'm going to get my main level reset and kind of cleaned up because I just haven't been able to get to that this morning. So talk to you in a bit. <laughs>
right, so I got everything tidied up. Go ahead. And, um, yeah, so I just figured I'd chat for a little bit, kind of talk about our month and what we've been doing. And kids are playing in the living room, and I'm going to sit for a minute because I've been up. I overslept this morning, which kind of sucks. It's the first time I've actually turned off my alarm and, like, went back to sleep. Normally, I'm pretty good about, like, just snoozing it and then waking up. But I, I did not sleep well last night. I got a lot of things on my mind. I guess I'll talk a little bit about them. So, number one, we ended up adopting two pupsy, puppies. Um, they are rough collies. They, um, so long story short, before we lost our second dog, Jasmine. So we lost Coda in May. He had some weird neurological thing, and it happened really fast, and I was still, like, a hard time talking about it because it was just so sudden. And then, um, but we, this was in the works actually before we lost our last dog. And long story short, my sister found a breeder. This breed I'd been thinking about getting for a few years now. Um, and my sister found this breeder that had an unexpected litter and they, um, I think I'm going to go in my bedroom cause they're being noisy. Okay. So the, um, in here it's a little bit quieter so anyway this breeder had an unexpected litter all right it's a little bit quieter now so anyway this breeder in where i grew up back in the midwest had an unexpected litter um long story short she was i think she says she's taking a break but it sounds like she's getting out of the business she um she's on the older side and she was basically spaying her animals and then i guess she went out one morning on a farm and there was a mom and four puppies. Her, her dog had puppies. So anyway, long story short, she, these are fully registered dogs and she just wanted to find them decent homes. So they were really affordable. And so the plan was we only actually adopted one at first. And my sister said that she would watch her for, her name is Belle. She said that she would watch her for about two weeks until my parents went back to basically pick her up in their RV and then they were going to bring her back to us. So the whole plan is we weren't going to go get them. But long story short, I know I've talked about my parents had a major, like their, their bathroom thing broke, like basically the toilet system, pump system broke. And it was like a big fix. It was a big ordeal. They were living in our house for six weeks and it was just, it was a little bit rough. I mean, for, for all of us, us kind of having them in our house, just not like that was not the plan. And then them just dealing with trying to get this fixed. Cause long story short, things were not done on time. Things were ordered late. So they ended up not being able to make it back at the time that my sister needed them to be back. And cause they were leaving on a family trip. And so my husband and I just on a whim, we found some really cheap one way tickets back there. And we got, um, so we ended up just taking a little, literally it was two nights. We flew back Friday after he got off work. Like I went, my mom and I went to work and picked him up and then my mom dropped us both off. And then my mom came home and they hung out with my kiddos for two nights. And then I had, um, what was it called? And then I, um, and then Isaac and I got rented a car and the plan was just to pick up the one dog. So <laughs> Shortly after we adopted Belle, um, her sister was already spoken for, had already been adopted out. And so, um, and so it's like that weekend she was able to adopt out all of her puppies. Long story short, she had like a family emergency and, or like a family issues. And how do I say it? Somebody had cancer. She was trying to take care of them. So like, she was just unable. It's just like I said, trying to get out of the business. They're fine. They're just playing. So she, um, had them all adopted out the weekend that we got our puppy. And then I guess like the next week, the family had a change of heart and returned the, returned her sister. So, and I at first was like, no, we're not getting two at the same time. And especially litter mates. Cause you hear about all the horror stories, but anyway, long story short, we get back there, we meet Belle and my husband holds her for no more than five minutes. And he's like, now hear me out. Let's go get her sister. And of course it took some convincing and my main reason for choosing. Okay. So the biggest reason is because I didn't really want Belle to be by herself. I wanted to have, in some ways, it's like just killing two birds with one stone, so to speak, having two dogs to teach at the same time. And they're the type of breed that we want. And um, we've been wanting for a while. They're really good farm dogs. They're really good family dogs. Um, and yeah, so we, um, so anyway, so long story short, we had them, 
that was it. Long story short, sorry, I can't think. I was like, okay, well, we, we literally went, we're into town, we're in town for like three hours. We were going to go do lunch with my siblings and their spouses and their families. And then we were going to hit the road and head back here. Cause it was like, it's 20, it was 28 hours like of driving. And so, um, anyway, long story short, we, um, I was like, she needs to contact me by like 10 AM. I think it was. And so I text her, explain it. I sent it and I sent a picture of, cause we already had Belle cause my sister already had her to basically be like, yeah, see, I'm the same person. Cause I didn't want her because it was an out of state. Um, it was an out of state phone number. So I didn't want them to think I was a scammer anyway. And so it was like 10 minutes to 10. And then she texted me back. Oh yeah, she's available. And same affordable price for her. And I was like, okay, well we can only pick them up. I think it was like at two o'clock cause they, their farm was like an hour or so away from where we were. And it was technically going to be an hour out of our way or maybe like 45 minutes out of our way. And then we'd have to backtrack to get back on the freeway to head back, head back out West. And, um, <laughs> and, um, anyway, so she was like, yep, that's fine. And I think it ended up being like 2 30, right? I'm like, we can be there at 2 30. Cause she gave me an address. So we ended up going there. We ended up meeting mom and dad, puppy dog. And they were super sweet. Mom was a little like shy and skittish, but she wasn't like aggressive at all, which was really nice. And then dad was super friendly and they weren't super barky. And it was really nice to kind of see there was like five, six dogs at the farm, including, um, our second puppy, Poppy, we call her Poppy. And so we were able to pick her up. And honestly, the funny thing is, is like with Belle, when we first got her, she was, and we drove her to basically from my sister's house to where they were, uh, my family was having lunch. She threw up, she was like drooly. So we could tell she was not feeling good. She's very anxious. And we were told that she does get car sick. I guess it's pretty common for colleagues to get car sick when they're little. And I'm thinking, oh great. Is this going to be like our trip? Because we had to be back by, um, Sunday morning because I had a meeting at our church for something like a leadership meeting. So I was like, I can't like, so it was kind of like we had to be back by a specific time anyway. So, um, once we got Poppy and Belle just calmed down, she did not have any, she didn't throw up again. She didn't even drool again. They basically traveled amazing. I was shocked. Like, um, they did not have any accidents in the kennel. They did not like, they were amazing dogs. Like, and so far they've been with us for a couple weeks now, I think. And they've been great. There's been some like, like there's still puppies. So there's been a few hiccups, but they've like, you know, where they just want to jump on people and that's, we're working on it and they're getting better. But it's actually been like, I'm still struggling a little bit because, you know, we lost both our dogs and I feel like was this too fast to get them. But then part of me is like, you know what? Like, all in all, like we need to have some sort of farm dog, some sort of animal for our farm. And I wanted to have some animals that would grow up with my kids. So they've been a lot of fun. <laughs> it's been very, it was, like I said, it was kind of a whirlwind trip. We got back in 36 hours. So we literally slept for like three hours in the van and then got back up and, and kept coming. So it was just, it was fun. I was definitely excited about, um, it was just a fun time. And like, it was nice just to have a little weekend getaway with Isaac and just like, we loved a road trip. So for us, it was definitely fun, but yeah, so that's kind of our little crazy life update. That's kind of the things that we've, um, had going on. And so, yeah, so today, like it is raining, it's going to rain all morning. So I'm probably going to wait till this afternoon. But this afternoon I'm going to go out, I'm going to pick all my produce that is ripe and anything I can maybe ripen. Like I might have some green tomatoes, but it's just getting to the point where it's starting to get cold and there's just nothing is going to really grow. So that's what I'm going to be doing in a little bit. I'm going to finish. I think I just have to sweep the floor in the kitchen and then kind of finish my tidying up there. So what letter is this? Thank you. 
got it. You can do it. So I probably picked like one of the worst days to try to finish my garden harvest, but I need to get it done because like I said, we got a busy weekend. It's actually going to be nicer tomorrow, so I don't know. I might just, I'm probably going to pick everything that looks like it is going to be ready to go today, but I think I'm going to be careful. It's a little muddy, but I think I'm going to maybe, I'm not going to put my garden to bed today, but I do want to try to do that tomorrow because it's the weather's supposed to be better. So I'll do a quick flip it around and show you. So this is the final state of the garden. I have a few more sunflowers that are kind of dying off and just a bunch of different flowers here. It was so much fun. So I don't think I have maybe a couple very small squash that I might try to pick. I do have a decent amount of tomatoes, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get some tomatoes, um, maybe make another batch of tomato sauce, but I'm just going to probably put it in the fridge so that I don't have to. There's a few carrots over there. They're pretty small, but I'll pull them anyway. Then I see there's some green beans on that vine. So here's my cucumbers. I think it's pretty well done for the year. I mean, in my unfortunately, I kind of forgot to water some stuff. And then that big pile is all thistles. So my goal is to try to work on getting that area cleaned out. And I'm actually going to put a, one more raised bed. Probably the same size as this guy. This guy's a bigger one. These ones, it's about twice the width as these ones. And I think I'm going to just put it in that corner. So, whew, so anyway, I think what I, I'll be honest. I feel like last year... I did, didn't do good at the beginning of the season, and then towards the end of the season, I actually got a decent amount. I got a decent amount of tomatoes, and with stuff that my husband's neighbor gave, or my husband's coworker gave me, I was able to make a bunch of um, spaghetti sauce. I ended up buying tomatoes this year for the spaghetti sauce, and um, which was fine. They were delicious, but the only issue is it costs money, of course, and I wanted to do it all as cheaply as possible. So I will say this year wasn't as good of a year for produce as... Hold on, I gotta readjust. This year wasn't as good of a year for produce as um, recent years, or I don't even think it was as good as last year. Well, in some ways it was, but in some ways it wasn't. So I got my zucchini plants definitely grew way better this year, and I actually got a decent amount of zucchinis out of them. But <clears throat> last year I got more tomatoes. So I am gonna kind of adjust. And another thing, yeah, so. Sorry, let me back up. So basically, overall, I think I did about as good as I did last year. Certain Instead of getting tomatoes this year, I got zucchinis and vice versa. Though between you and me, I would have rather just gotten more tomatoes because I feel like that would have made more, like I can make spaghetti sauce and stuff. Not everyone in my family likes zucchini. And so I did can a little bit of zucchini, but most of it I just shredded and froze to go in like zucchini breads for Christmas or um, muffins. I had this really good um, blueberry zucchini muffin recipe it's delicious um so i'm not sure hmm. the yellow zucchinis the biggest issue i had with those is they got like they got really hard really quick i guess you have to pick them like at a very particular time or the peelings get really tough so i didn't really like that i'm thinking maybe i don't know if i will do a yellow zucchini plant next year just because i would rather put like potatoes or something my potato plants didn't make it this year either because they're on the other side of our yard and I think I'm just going to put that raised bed where I was pointing out earlier and I think I'm just going to put potatoes in it. I think I'm going to stick with four, maybe add one more tomato plant next year, kind of depending on how they grow because I just feel like my tomatoes just didn't really grow this year. I have been told that like it's been really cold. Like our summer, like we would literally have like warm, then cold, warm, then cold, and nothing stayed like really consistent until like probably August. And so, and even then, like it wasn't, I don't know, it just seemed to like, and I thought I'd get more tomatoes ripening in September like I did last year, and that really didn't happen. It just seemed like um, just the weather is just very persnickety this year, I guess. So, um, other things, so what I am going to do next year, again, is I will definitely do more tomatoes. 
I'll probably still do cucumbers. I had a couple pepper plants and I'm kind of debating on whether or not I'm going to do pepper plants again. I only got two bell peppers and, but I've been told that peppers are really hard to grow anyway. So, and I got about six of the gypsy peppers. So that wasn't bad. It's just not a lot of, I guess, not a lot of, what am I trying to say? Mm, not a lot of produce for the effort. That's what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> so next year, I think what I'll do differently, I might only go to one zucchini plant. I'm going to add potatoes. I'm going to probably do more bean plants because I like green beans. I'd like to get enough green beans to like can for next year because I love canned green beans, especially like home canned kind. Um, <clears throat> I'm definitely going to do my flower garden again next year. I, though <laughs> my daughter, whom I love, planted all the seeds like in one spot. So she was trying to be helpful. So I think maybe next year I will help her a little bit more. And, um, and I wanted, I think I'm going to start planting them a little bit sooner. So my zinnias didn't come up at all. And I was told like, oh, you have to wait till it's warm enough. But I also saw that apparently I was supposed to sow the seeds in March. So next year I'm going to try to sow them in March, even though people say you can't because I had a friend that did that and she had like a ton and I got zero. So I'm guessing they just didn't, it didn't, they didn't get a chance to like really grow because they weren't in the ground long enough. So yeah, so I think that's kind of what I've learned. So I'm going to quickly get this stuff picked and kind of get everything that is harvestable out of my garden today because it's going to be a final harvest day. So that is what's going on now. garden I got a good amount of tomatoes one more zucchini and these tiny tiny little carrots so we'll see how it goes I feel like um like I said I almost feel like I had the same success last year as I did the year before I definitely don't think I think I'm gonna maybe start thinking a little bit harder about like what I want to grow and because I want to grow things that are like going to give me a good yield so I can have something to obviously whatchamacallit can basically I want to do as much preserving as possible but a lot of it we're just kind of victims of the weather like we're just kind of beholding to what the weather is going to do because I feel like it's this year was just so crazy hot cold hot cold that it just was really weird like I remember it being like fourth of July and we were like freezing because it was really cold so that is what I have for this and yeah so I'm gonna go inside get this stuff cleaned up and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet I have to think about it and sign off for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them below and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.